Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkade. Now today I'm gonna to show off this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Deluxe Control Panel with Pedestool. Now this is one of our 32 terabyte hyperspin builds. It comes with over 100,000 games, all your retro classics, including next-gen titles like Mortal Kombat 11, Far Cry 6, Resident Evil 4, the remake, and hundreds more of those. There's Hundreds of Xbox games, massive collection of PS3 games, massive collection of Nintendo Switch games, and tons, tons more on this unit alone. Now this is a fully plug and play arcade unit. The actual control panel comes off the pedestal, making it a two in one arcade. So it lifts up off, you can um, place it on your coffee table, move it to a different room, plug it into another TV and play on the go. Um, so like I say, it's a two in one, so we have the pedestal for this. Um, the artwork on this unit is absolutely stunning. It's designed off um, Zombie Yeti's pinball design and um, with my touch to it. So there's a lot of different um, artworks enhanced on this unit um, and blended in into the background. It's just such a beautiful looking machine. Now, if I've said this a few for a few machines, if I was to have something personal, um, for myself, I would pick this design also. I have a handful of designs that I've done and this is up there with the top. It's just absolutely stunning, the artwork. Um, I've enhanced all the imagery and um, rendered it all to the highest possible quality and then blended all the different images and different styles and stuff like that. So you may see some features that I've used on other machines before as well with this nice green smoke slime type effect coming in. Um, so if I start on the control panel, I want to really show off all the artwork I can. I'm sorry for the lighting in the shop. Um, I have taken some high quality images as well. So we have the turtle blimp there up on the top right hand side, April O'Neil. We have all the turtles with Splinter there. And then we have their van there as well. Is it called the turtle mobile? I cannot remember what it's called. I remember the blimp, but I can't remember what the... Um, van was called um then on the right hand side you have all the baddies there as well you have bebop and rocksteady on there you have um krang um shredder on there as well and um, some foot soldiers with some mouses on there as well and um, in the background you see if i can catch it out of the light there you see all the characters faded in the background there with this nice brick effect and that between blue going to like a purple effect over to the right hand side and um, across the control panel as well the center rod is all turtle shell and um, with that nice green trim on the sides giving it a nice professional finishing look we've got all the official sanma buttons in green there and we have the turtles logo on the top we have this um new york city custom fan grill now that is a fan grill and just by looking at it there you'd be thinking we where's the airflow sharky the airflow is coming in from the sides it's actually um slots all the way around the actual grill dragging in the air from there so we've got it going all the way around but it just looks like a nice solid ring so nice neat little effect on there um, we have the turtle power pizza custom dust covers as well and um, there is some companies there's actually one ripping off shark here they're calling themselves shark one up and they're making some cheap crappy um dust covers which i think all they're doing is doing sticker um stickers on some 3d printed dust covers and um, that's actually the sticker grills and stuff like that was original product of mine 
so they're going back about seven eight year in in the quality um i mean i over the years i've perfected my printing and stuff and my product custom dust covers custom grills are a product of mine i started those off in the pc scene moved them over to the arcade scene so if you see anything looking like this they're just cheap knockoffs of sharkades high-end products so coming along the side here we have this stunning artwork as well i mean the just from top to bottom the artwork is absolutely crazy looking good and um, like i say i custom design all the artwork and stuff i find the images online and then if it's a poor quality image i usually enhance it and there is a lot of editing that goes into each design um, a design could take us maybe an hour to do something like this may take us um, three four hours up to even five days depending on if i can source the images and um, going between different styles and stuff like that it is a full-time job that i do um, so we've got that stunning brick work there with that blue to purple effect and then we have all those characters in the background there with a city background and then just come down we have leonardo there and then no leonardo's over there sorry that's uh, michelangelo um we have splinter there donatello just faded in up the top there then we come down to this colored theme so we have as you can see it's all faded in nicely you've got that nice looking background just the amount of detail that's in this image alone um you won't find these images at this quality anywhere online you won't find them at this quality i do a lot of enhancements and um, if you are part of the sharkade owners network i've shown some examples of the difference between a standard image and then what the final result is when I render the image and everything. Um, as you can see, it's just the every line and every bit of detail is just ridiculous quality. And then move over to the front panel here. We have that center artwork, which is that shell design. We've got that green slime smoke coming up. Um, with the turtles logo there in the center with that shell makes it look a bit like a sewer lid with green slime coming out of it with a green glow and then over to the right hand side we have that repeating artwork and like i say the just sheer quality and look and colors and everything the vibrance of the artwork is just absolutely outstanding um, I do have some high quality images of this unit and um, them go up on the reddit page so I've tried to take as much and um, as many pictures as I possibly can of this unit because I do absolutely love the design and just all the bits of detail is just crazy on it and um, but like I say I do have a reddit page which I've got linked down below you can go there I usually post up my high quality images on the reddit page and um, so you can check those out and um, let's just go through what we have so we have a big collection of meme around 30,000 games we have different meme collections as well so we have a two player collection four player 70s 80s 90s collection flying games light gun games and meme vertical games then we, you have your all your other different um old school um console systems so some obscure ones you've probably never even heard of um like the odyssey 2 and um, mares in television i remember having one of those years back but um I, I don't remember many friends having one um you've got metal slug collections you've got the msx2 the 2 plus we have a huge collection of xbox games as well and um, we have midway classics and stuff we have turbo graphics we get into the nintendo stuff which is 3ds n64 and um, nintendo arcade and um, nintendo entertainment system so the original nintendo 
Um, we also have NES hacks, um, Nintendo GameCubes, Virtual Boy. We have a big collection of Nintendo Switch on there as well. Um, nice collection of Nintendo Switch. Then we are coming down to the Wii, the Wii Light Gun games, Wii U, and Wii Wear stuff. And we have some open ball stuff on there. We have the eight terabytes um, PC fighting games. So you have some, they're getting older now. Um, a few years ago, they were the top PC fighting titles that were out. They're getting a bit older now. So you've got Jump Force, you've got Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, Mortal Kombat XL. So I think that's Mortal Kombat 9, isn't it? Then we have Soul Calibur 6. So Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter X, Tekken Ultra, Street Fighter 4, Strip Fighter, and Tekken 7 and stuff. Um, then we are into the PC games, which are also on the terabyte. So you have stuff like Blue Estate, um, Crash Bandicoot, NCN Trilogy, Flat Out, um, Shank. Shank's a cool game. Streets of Rage 4. Um, then we've got the PC Plus selection. Now the PC Plus selection, um, we don't have the hard drive connected actually. So we don't have the media on there. So I'll show that off. Um, in a moment what I'll do is I'll go ahead and plug in the hard drive because this comes with the 32 terabyte build it does have um, the media for the PC plus games now on the um, 32 terabyte add-on drive so you will need that drive plugged in to access that media it's because we've got so many games on the PC plus section now our main a terabyte drive is getting full so what i've done is the newer systems the newer games and stuff i've transferred the media over to that drive um, it still has the 16 terabyte and the 24 terabyte media on the um, standard 16 terabyte build but because of um, the amount of images and media and um, video and um, trailers and stuff like that for the games I've um, made like a dummy shortcut to the 32 terabyte so you'll access all that media. So we'll give it a few seconds to load and go through some other systems. And um, so we have a cheat engine on here as well. And um, let's see if that's detected. So it has detected that because it's shown the media. So we have a next gen PC titles of cheats. And um, we'll just zoom in there so you can see a bit better on that screen. Um, so we have Aliens um, Fire Team, we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey, we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Bio Mutant, Bioshock Infinite, Borderlands 2, and we have Borderlands 3, Borderlands um, 1, we have the pre-sequel, we have Black Ops 3 as well. Um, so we have Crash Bandicoot 4 on there for cheats, Cyberpunk, Darksiders, Days Gone, Devil May Cry 5, Far Cry 5, Fist, Ghostwire Tokyo, God of War, the um, God of War 4 basically, Hades, um, Horizon. So you've got some cool next gen titles on there where we have Spider-Man's Miles Morales, we have Neo, we have Resident Evil 4, the remake. Um, we have Resident Evil Village and Darkness 2 and Watch Dogs Legion on there at the moment. Now um, the cheat system is basically um, you could have unlimited health, unlimited ammo, no reload. You could have um, unlimited resources and all sorts of stuff and you can chop and choose what cheats you want to enable. So if you've completed a game, which I like to do, if I complete a game and I don't want to have to go around doing the same thing over and over again, trying to collect all the resources to unlock an achievement at the end and stuff like that. If you can't be bothered with that and you just basically want to play around and have like, um, like always specials and stuff like that, you can go in and enable those cheats. Um, it, it, it's just that basically. Um, but the cheat system does save your previous cheats. It keeps all your previous cheats saved. Um, so next time you load it, it'll have those cheats. You can actually press the right pinball button, go into the cheat system, change what cheats you want, and then press your right pinball again, and it'll bring you back into the system, and then you can continue playing your game. Um, you've also, like I say, we've got the PC Games Plus selection, so we have tons and tons of games on there. Um, I think we're rocking up about 400 next-gen titles 
um, most of them are triple a titles and there's some really cool indie games there's some um re really nice retro style games as well um, a lot of modern titles so we have stuff like um alan alan wake remastered um alex the kid dx aliens fire team ambush is a new one arc runner arc survival we have the assassin's creed collection all the way up to assassin's creed valhalla um, we have a set of Corsa. We have Astro Guards. A lot of these are the new stuff. We have Atomic Heart, um, Attack on Titans on there, Balan Wonderland, Batman Collection there. We have Battle Toads Bayonetta. We have Bendy and the Ink, Bendy in the Dark Revival is on there. Berserk, Beyond Two Souls, Bio Mutant. Let's find some triple a title so we have the borderland stuff we have the boris another bendy game call of duty collection now on a 32 terabyte up to black ops 3 and now on the new black ops 3 we do have um over 200 gig of modded maps and some of the modded maps are probably even better than the official maps there's some really cool stuff on there i've done a long video of it so i recommend you go ahead and check that video out um so we have the call of duty collection there we have choo choo charles we have um, Clive and Wrench on there. We have Crash Bandicoot 4, Crisis 2 and 3 Remastered, Cyberpunk 2077, um, Dandy Ace, Dark Siders Dark, um, Days Gone, um, Dead Rise, Dead Space 3, um, Deadpool, Detroit Become Human. That's a cool game. Um, let's head down. Dying Light 2, another AAA title. We have um, Evil Below, Evil is Back, Evil West, not a new title. We have Far Cry Collection up to Far Cry 6. Um, we have Forza 4 and Forza 5, quality games, beautiful looking um, games that are. Let's head down. We have Ghostbuster Games, Ghost and Goblins, Ghostwire Tokyo, another um, brand new title. Um, God of War, which is a beautiful looking game. Um, Gotham Knights is on there. Guilty Gear Strive. So you have a, basically a collection of everything you could want. Um, High on Life's on there. We have Hunt Down is a quality game. I rage about this game in most of my videos. It's well worth playing. It's an old. It's it's built like an old school retro title, and it's the soundtrack and everything's just crazy. Immortals Phoenix Rising, it takes two. <clears throat> Joe Mack and um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. We have um, Ken and the Bridge of Spirits on there. Little Nightmares one and two. A um, couple of my customers have recommended that game. We have the Marvels collection as well. Guardians of the Galaxy, Miles Morales, Spider Man. Um, we have Mortal Kombat 11. We have Need for Speed stuff now on there. Noita. Noita is a cool game. I played lots of that. Um, Pinball FX3 um, update as well. We have um, Red Dead Redemption 2 on there. Resident Evil 2, the remake. 3, the remake. 4, the remake. Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 8. Let's go down. We have Samurai Showdown. Not a cool new title. Shadow Warrior 2 and Shadow Warrior 3, which is another cool title. Um, Sherlock Holmes, a new one. Um, let's Sons of the Forest. And we have added some extra stuff. There is Street Fighter 6, a closed beta on this. Um, but Street Fighter 6, the full game will be out um, in the next day or so anyways. Um, so that should be added quite quickly, hopefully. And um, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. We have um, The Devil in Me, Dark Pictures Anthology. Um, great story-based game. I love these type of games. Um, I never was into them, um, but I, I've gotten right into them. This, Dark Pictures Anthology, um, games like The Quarry, um, brilliant games to play. Um, hours upon hours of playing on it, but it's, it's such a good game both good games so we have house of the dead remake we have house of the dead overkill um last of us as well part one's on there the messenger pathless the quarry like i said before there and just tons more cool titles so let's head back um so we have our pc modded games as well so if you didn't want to cheat and you wanted a mod 
Um, you've got mods on there, so you've got um, different character mods. You've got Bruce Lee for Sifu, um, Goku for um, Sifu and stuff. So different game mods there. And then we have, and that's never been done. And I've never seen the PC cheat engine on anyone else's other system. And um, PC cheat engine as well as a PC game, PC mods as well. We have a big collection of GOG games. We have loads of pinball tables on here. Basically everything you could ask for is on here. Um, we have all your Sega systems. We have your um, PlayStation 1, 2, 3 and 5. And um, the PlayStation 5 collection are PS5 releases of the PC on the PC. So there's a nice collection of PS5 stuff on there. Um, some stuff as well that you won't find in the PC Plus wheel. So you'll find in there. And we have Techno Power Collection with all the new arcade titles and stuff. Um, and, and that's it. So we've got over 340 plus systems on here and over 100,000 games. And this isn't one of those cheap little boxes you buy from China that claim they have 100,000 games. The, this isn't just retro games. It's a lot of next gen titles. It's a lot of high end stuff. Inside these units you do get, let's zoom out there. Um, inside these units you do get um, a high-end gaming PC inside now everything is built inside the control panel alone so you can carry it around take it around and you just have your main power plug and your HDMI out now you can um, plug in like I say our 32 terabyte external drive inside we only do up to 16 terabytes internally and um, you can get like larger SSDs and stuff like that um, but our standards are around 120 gig to 256 gig M.2 SSD for the operating system. Um, so like I say, there's a high-end gaming PC in sight. So you get a Ryzen 5 CPU, 16 gig of DDR4 RAM. You get a mini ITX um, motherboard. So you don't get a cheap motherboard. You get an ITX AC motherboard, which are a bit higher end motherboards than your standard mini ITX stuff. So you get a decent motherboard inside with a Ryzen, 3, Ryzen 5 sorry, CPU. You also get the RTX 3060 graphics card inside this unit. If we go around the back here, you get a 12 gig RTX 3060 graphics card inside. We have custom power supplies as well to handle the performance and the power consumption and everything that that card, the CPU and everything takes. So you've got a custom power supply inside you've got a high-end rtx 3060 graphics card and um, the system like i say is all fully plug and play you start it up it boots up and you get your menu now you do get two xbox 360 controllers with our ultimate builds you also get the wii controller kit for the shooting games these units can be configured as well for the gun for ir kit which i recommend i don't recommend any other guns i don't um Choose to do the config for any other guns. My main focus is on the gun for IR kit. It's the best you can get around. Um, I don't sell those. You would have to go to RPEG Electronics or gunforir.com for your guns if you wish to purchase a gun kit. And then if once you get your guns, if you want to change the configuration from the Wii controller kit for the shooting games to the gun for IR kit, just give me a shout. I'll jump on your machine. They come with wireless network built into the motherboard. So you can um, use a wireless network connection, the decent wireless network connections as well on these units. And um, you get two antennas that fit in the back as well. Um, so you get your Wi-Fi connection. So if I want to jump on your machine and fiddle around with some configuration and fix some games that aren't quite working and do any patches or fixes and stuff like that, I can. So I can just call, you can call me up. I can jump on a um, video chat through WhatsApp and then I can just connect to your machine and we can um, go ahead and you can go through any issues you've got in live while I'm on there. I can go through and check out what games aren't quite working, what needs reconfigured or anything like that. We can do that live. One twenty-two and an eight. One twenty-two and an eight. Terrific. Where the heck is one twenty-two and an eight? 
You're standing on it, dude. Just slip it down here. Give me that. Hey, this is a 10. The tab's 13. You're two minutes late, dude. Ah, oh, come on. I couldn't find a place. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. I gotta get a new route. And I thought I delivered everywhere. Like, share, subscribe, and I will catch us in the next one. Bye.